Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to show you a new knife I got because I'm very excited about it. Can you feel the excitement in the air? It's so thick you can cut it. You can cut it with this knife because it's nice and sharp. In fact, it's so sharp, it cut me. I didn't do it on purpose. However, uh, I did have a message from someone that today is the awareness day for uh, cutters, people who you know, cut themselves on purpose, I guess, to I don't know, relieve pain. So, something like that. Uh, I don't know all the information about it, but you know, people who purposely just cut themselves for whatever reason. Um, today is the awareness day for that. So there is someone who sent me a message who used to do that and they don't do it any longer because you know, the people who love them and care about them, it was hurting them. So just a quick random note is uh, congratulations to anyone who, like on a serious note, if you used to do that and you don't do it anymore, I think that's fantastic. I didn't cut myself on purpose for Cutter's Awareness Day or anything. Uh, that was an accident because I was flipping this amazing ballast song, which I want to show you right now. So let's get on to it. Um, I was going to try to make this all suspenseful and whatnot, and I was going to like, you know, poke the corner just to show you the blade and talk about it, see if you can guess it, but who has time for that crap? Here it is. It's the Bradley Mayhem. And it's a fantastic knife. In fact, overall, if you took a ballast song and you had all these categories like, you know, sharpness, uh, out of the box, um, blade steel, uh, construction, fit and finish, um, you know, the flippability of the knife, uh, smoothness, I mean, all these different categories is the overall picture of the knife. I would definitely, without a doubt, rank this better than the almighty Benjamin Model 42, everyone's grail knife, you know? The BM42 is so well-rounded, everything about it, it's great to flip, it's well-balanced, it has a good weight, um, it has a, a comfortable, warm feeling to it, the milling is great, the, uh, the fit and finish is awesome on it, everything about it is, is great as a whole. It really excels in flipping. I, I've always liked the 42 above any other ballast song simply because of the fact that it was just an amazing flipper. This knife, I don't think beats a 42 as far as flipping. For the most obvious reason, it has the curved handles, which can be more difficult. However, for everything else, to actually use a knife, ergonomics, fit and finish, this thing just beats the heck out of a 42, honestly. All right, and there's probably a lot of you out there thinking, oh no, I don't, I don't know about that, the 42 is awesome. It's a bench main. This beats the 42, you know why? Not that it matters, but this is also a bench made. What are you talking about, Jeff? This is Bradley on there. Yeah, well, you know, Bradley had Benchmade make these knives for them. Did you know that? Some of you did, but some of you didn't, and now you do. So it might as well be a Benchmade on it. You know, it's just not marked Benchmade, but it's made in their facility, their factory, and in my opinion, to a higher tolerance and a better quality level than even the awesome Benchmade Model 42. So this is not a review. I'm not gonna go over all this stuff. There will be more videos of this in the future. All I can tell you right now is that I have one, and I love it, and I can't get enough of it, and I keep flipping it, and hopefully I don't cut my fingers off because I don't want to put it down. It's so smooth. Listen to the action on this. Can you hear that? I mean, I didn't mute the, the uh, volume because obviously you hear me talking, right? Can you hear the knife? No, you can't because it's that awesome and that smooth. Of course, if you flip it around, click it, you'll hear that. But anyway, I'm not going to make this a long video, it's kind of a little teaser. Just want to show you how uh, awesome this is and just tell you that it's one of my favorite new battle songs. You will see it in future videos. It is just, uh, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I am very happy with it. If you guys ever get a chance to pick one of these up, don't hesitate. It is well worth the price tag. Absolutely. And uh, that's it, just a little teaser for you. So. It did, uh, it is sharp, like I said. Uh, I did cut myself, not on purpose, <laughs> totally an accident. I, I don't, I wouldn't want to cut myself on purpose. <sighs> so, yeah, so that's it. The, uh, the Bradley Mayhem certainly surpassed my expectations of this knife. In fact, I'm going to say that if Chris Reeves ever made a ballast song, this is how I would expect it to come out. In so many ways, this reminds me of the uh, Sebenzis. It's really, uh, it's crazy. Very high quality though. So like I said, just, just a quickie for you. Um, there will be more videos on this knife specifically and eventually a review when I get more familiar with it, but not right now, it's still new to me. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for your time guys, appreciate it as always. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.